I changed my hair, guys. Do you like it? It was cheap. <laughs> um, probably gonna get a new one soon. My makeup is not done, of course, because I don't know how to keep my life together. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a chinchilla cage tour today as soon as I get home. I really like this hair, though. Should I do a review on it? Amazon weave hair. Yeah, I you want to say hi to the vlog, babe? No, I fucking hate the vlog. Uh. Chloe, what are we going to go see? Uh, Jurassic World. Jurassic World, are you excited? Mm -hmm. Me too, girl. Are you excited, babe? Babe, are you excited? He's being mean to us. Look at our big thing of popcorn. I'll talk to you guys later. Do you want to be in my vlog today, Cody? No? Not today? Another day? Okay, another day. Alright guys, so this is the cage. Let me step back and give you an overview. Sorry, it's not the best lighting in here. So we're just going to start from the bottom. Um, I don't want him to jump out. But, all right, so we got the fleece, and the, it's a little dirty, even though we cleaned it this morning. This is a little hut. There's a little cooling pad. There's a little hay and pellet feeder. And there's a little bridge that came with his house, I think. And I think it's for birds, but he actually likes it and jumps on it sometimes. And then the second floor, right now we just have his ball there that he chewed up and the fleece I know looks really bad but we just didn't have time to sew it all down he's probably gonna jump away because he's really scared because I don't know he's still getting used to us here's his little bed thing I asked my boyfriend to pick up a hammock for him and he ended up picking a bat which he doesn't I don't think he likes pretty very much because I think he gets hot in here so I'm probably gonna end up buying him a hammock. Oh, there he goes. Oh, here's his little jumping side thing. And then there's nothing at the top right now. Still finding stuff to add. And there's Mocha. He is still getting used to us, as you can tell. He's still kind of jumpy around us. We actually just gave him his dust bath today and he seemed to really like it. He actually really likes when he's out of the cage, but for some reason when he's in the cage, he acts really shy and like this. So if somebody knows why he does that, please let me know. I'm gonna yeah, I'm not even gonna touch him because I don't wanna scare him and I don't want him to think every time I open the cage I'm gonna try to touch him. And there's his water bottle, which we hate. We actually have this one, which I really liked, which you just kinda like screwed on, but I broke it on accident. Yeah, so that is the chinchilla cage. Like I said, I'm still fixing all the police and everything. We got him kind of unexpectedly. We didn't think we were going to get him this soon. So I kind of just had to rush and put everything in there. So yeah, and it's not, it's not the biggest. I mean, it's not the smallest either. But, you know, once we move out, we're probably going to get him a bigger cage. But he seems to enjoy it, so so cute. I don't know if he'll come to me. He tried to bite me earlier, so yeah, don't bite me, please. Alright. That's it. Can you guys go keto Walmart shopping? <laughs> morning guys it's been a minute since I talked to you guys I know I'm looking like a bum like always so I'm gonna do a little life update right now I'm sitting in the parking lot because I'm waiting on my activation text message from DoorDash which 
I still haven't got yet. So, yeah. I don't know when I'm going to get that. Hopefully I get it at all. If not, I'm going to have to. I was hoping I was going to start today. Like, as soon as I was done with this, I was going to drive back home. And then I was going to start. Because, I, you know, I need money now. Like, so I want to start as soon as I can. But when I get home, I guess I'll email them and let them know, like, hey, I didn't get my activation email. How long is that going to take? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so let's do a little life update because a lot has happened. I think the last time I vlogged, I went to the movie theater. It's probably people in, in all these cars staring at me. Ugh. Yeah, uh, anyway, it's okay. I know my hair is like, ugh. I need to get new hair. So, um, job update. I quit my job. <laughs> I mean, you could tell from the vlogs that I was miserable going there every day. It really had gotten to that point where I was just, I was just miserable and I had to quit. And so I did. I just left, you know. I, I had a conversation with my boss and based on that conversation, I had told myself, like, depending on what she says is going to decide whether or not I'm going to stay here or not. And that conversation didn't go how I thought it was gonna go so I I left and I'm not working there anymore so I'm not a barista anymore but I went to my orientation for DoorDash today I just finished up my orientation I got my let me guys show you guys I got my DoorDash gear thumbnail <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'm just waiting on my activation email. Like, I was gonna start. Like, as soon as I left here, I was like, let's go make some money. Like, let's go. But, um, they haven't sent it to me. So, hopefully, they send that to me soon. So, I can start working and making money, you know? So, if I'm gonna, probably gonna talk about my quitting my job <laughs> story time and one of my mukbangs. Um, I don't know what I'm I don't know what I want to eat. You know, I had a cheat day. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had a cheat day um the day I went to the movie theater and I had Taco Bell, like I said I was gonna do, and I forgot to videotape it and do a mukbang on it. Like I completely forgot. Like I was just so hungry and I was so excited. So I'm probably not gonna have another cheat day for a couple weeks. I haven't even weighed myself. I've been doing keto, so um you know, usually I can tell when I've lost weight, like usually I can just look at my body and the way it's looking and I can tell like, okay, I lost something here, I lost something there, but I haven't stepped on the scale, honestly. So I'm not sure if I've lost anything. I mean, I've been doing keto, so I should have, but I haven't, I haven't stepped on the scale. You know, when you, when you just feel like I, like when I was like losing, like when I lost 10 pounds, I like felt like I had lost 10 pounds and I looked like I had lost 10 pounds. Now looking in the mirror, I kind of feel like just the same right now and I, I i know like my brother does workouts too who you saw in my other clip he told me you can't pay attention to the number on the scale because the scale is going to go up and down you have to pay attention to what you look like in the mirror and i still look smaller but um i don't think i've lost anything else I don't, i'm not sure why if i haven't i mean i might have i haven't i like my face is looking slimmer double chin <laughs> double chin almost gone <laughs> So, um, so maybe I'll weigh myself today. I don't know. Maybe I'll show you guys, show you guys how much I weigh. Ugh. No, um, I'm trying to see what else I should update you guys on. So yeah, quit my job. Probably going to do a story time while I do a mukbang. Um, let me know what you guys want me to eat again. Tell me if you want me to eat keto somewhere, put it in the description. I'll go there, get keto food. Hopefully I'm working by then and have the money. <laughs> Or if you want me, would you want me to see me eat for a cheat day? Do you still want me to do Taco Bell? Because I will go back to Taco Bell for my next cheat day. Oh, me and my boyfriend are planning to do a pizza mukbang, actually. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to vlog a lot today. I don't, I, like, I was going to vlog because I thought I was going to be dashing, but I guess I'm not going to be dashing until they send me that text message. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing today. I am going to the beach Saturday, so I'm going to try to get a lot, some clips of that. You know, I don't want to mess up my phone or anything. And I, I want to I enjoy it because I'm seeing my cousins that I haven't seen in a while. And just hanging out with my sisters and my boyfriends. So, you know, I want to kind of enjoy it. But I do need some clips for the vlog. So, if I go anywhere, I will probably vlog it. Hopefully, I get my activation 
message today i'm going to email them today so they can email me back as soon as possible and they can tell me like look you're ready to go because i need to start making money you know i was barely making anything as it was but <laughs> making nothing now is just yeah it's time to start working again i was really excited to work today but that's okay oh chinchilla update so as you saw i have my i got my chinchilla we got it a little bit earlier than we thought it would so i had to kind of rush and put his cage together i still i actually need to go buy another thing of fleece and try to actually sew that together and put that on his cage um my hair just scared me <laughs> Um, he's getting comfortable, more comfortable around us, I guess. Like, the first few days that he was with us, he just, he, he could not stand us. Like, he did not want us near him. He did not want us near the cage. He's getting used to me. Like, um, I'm kind of scared to hold him. Like, I'm scared I'm going to, like, hurt him. Because if you ever had have held a chinchilla, you know, they're super fragile. Like, super fragile. And... I, I'm kind of scared to like hurt him, but he's like li like getting used to me petting him at least and I feel like that's a step forward Like my boyfriend already picks him up and everything, but I'm just a little more timid than my boyfriend So I I've, I've just been like I've been g getting him used to me coming near his cage and just petting him for right now There's a car driving by really slow in front of me Okay, um, I'm just g getting him used to me petting him right now and he's getting more used to that more, more used to me just coming to his cage and petting him he's not like running away anymore he's getting used to me just petting him and just looking at me and just having me near the cage and everything which is good he still tries to nibble on me like I don't think he's trying to bite me I think he's trying to nibble on me he might think I'm giving him treats because I do give him treats like probably more than I should I don't know I don't know if that's his way of saying like give me treats or I don't know but I don't I, that's like made me kind of wary of picking him up too but I know like I have to show him that he can trust me so I'm starting by just petting him and then I'm gonna start into picking him up more and everything and he loves playtime like he won't bite me at all outside the cage when he's doing playtime with us but when he's inside the cage he just starts to like try to bite me so I don't know if you know why they do that let me know like does he think I'm a snack or does he think I'm like trying to feed it <laughs> does he think I'm a snack no <laughs> does he think I'm trying to like feed him um treats is that why he's trying to bite me I don't know I he's still adorable I love him I love him so much I want to give him like everything like I was I have so many toys for him in my Amazon cart that I can't buy yet because I'm waiting to start making money <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get home because it stopped raining. I didn't want to drive while it was raining, and while I was and get on the freeway while it was raining because I don't like driving on the freeway at all, and I definitely don't like driving on the freeway while it's raining. So it stopped raining. So I'm gonna head back home. Um, maybe I'll get some clips of me making some breakfast, and yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get home. It was nice talking to you guys again. <laughs> all right, bye.